Hey guys, what's going on? It's Exile Lord here, and before I start the Dread Overview, I would like for you guys to leave comments down below telling me what kit you would like to see next. Um, regular kit, I mean. Uh, all the hero kits are done for except for Blaze at this moment, so that'll be coming next, and then I'll move on to like a tips and tricks series for the regular classes. So be sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you would like to see next. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and move on to the Dread kit. Its first skill, uh, Shadow Burst, fire three withers, wither heads at once, dealing up to four damage per second. Uh, this is true damage, so you start out uh, by doing two hearts, and that increases all the way up to ten uh, damage, or five hearts. Next skill, Soul Eater, attacking others, has a 12% chance to gain three hunger and one health. Uh, one health means half a heart, not uh, one full heart, just uh, half a heart, and that increases all the way up to 25%. Uh, next soul, Soul Siphon, gain regen for two seconds and strength for one second after you kill somebody. That increases by half a second each time, all the way up to six seconds and five seconds. Uh, you start out with an iron sword and two stakes, and at four, you get the diamond sword. At seven, you get the second health pot. And then at max, you get the smite one. Uh, and last talent here, uh, Dark Matter. Iron Ore has a 25% chance to drop iron ingots when mining iron ore. And that increases all the way up to 100%. And then we're going to go ahead and head into game. And I'll see you guys. Hey there. guys, what's going on? Uh, we're in game right now. And to show off the gathering talent, uh, as you can see, when you mine iron ore, it has a chance to drop... A <laughs> It has a chance to drop iron ingots instead of the ore. And if you happen to get the ore, you can always just place it down and mine it again and hope you get the iron instead. And a little quick tip here, uh, as you guys may notice, the iron does have a tendency to fly around once you mine it. <sighs> Come on now. <laughs> it does have a tendency to fly around. See, like, I mined it over there. Boop! So what I suggest you do is go ahead and like a one by one hole. It, okay, not like that. <laughs> Just go in a one by one hole so that your iron doesn't fly around and other people are grabbing it. Alright, what's up guys? We're here in game and first tip here, definitely rush for theirs. I mean, I know it feels like I say this with every class, but with this class especially at max because of the smite. And sometimes you will get your speed. Ah. We'll see, anyway, that short little rush, they used to be up top, and now they're second. Alright guys, we're here with the second tip, and these are two tips, actually. I decided to put them in only one part. Um, first of all, when you get your strength, you definitely want to start going for somebody, even if you're like at like half health, you'll probably be able to take them down if you do crit them as well. Um, also... When you want to use your skill, you definitely want to wait like a second or half a second before you do, because otherwise if you hit with your sword and you use your ability at the same time, uh, it, uh, it does not register, so your skulls will do no damage. Alright, so guys, we're here with my final thoughts on the Dread Kit. Uh, overall, it is a very good kit, and I would rate it like the second best hero kit at the moment. Uh, underneath pig of course um, it's good in a hole uh, for obvious reasons and it can be good above ground uh, if you're trying to get like sky bases out of a sky base because your uh, skill will just uh, destroy the blocks under them classes I would suggest that you stay away from would include golem mainly because they're tanky and uh, their skill does a lot of damage and maybe um, a dread that has a higher um, with their skull damage, I guess that's all I'd stay away from, really. Um, all right, well, I guess that's it, and be sure to be be sure to look forward to my uh, Blaze Kit review that's coming up um, sometimes ne next week, and uh, be sure to leave a suggestion for what normal kit you would like to see next, and then I'll be on my way and see you guys later.